Well, we continue to find just incredibly talented people around our area, and today we meet a man who turns ordinary wood into extraordinary awe. Take a look at this lamp. I, I saw this uh, out on, um, during the Blue Plum Festival, and I said, we have got to meet the man who made this, because what a talent. Joining us now from Wildwood Originals, we have Cliff Guerin. And Cliff, it is great to have you on daytime. Thank you, Amy. Nice to be here. It was fun. When I saw you at Blue Plum, I was like, wow, okay, you need to come on the show and talk a little bit about this. How did you get started in all this? You know, back about 25 years ago, I started selling uh, driftwood to taxidermists. Okay. It just started evolving into rough lawn furniture, uh, then eventually, into what you're seeing today. And this stuff is very popular. There's a huge market for this, isn't oh, there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think anybody wants a nice piece of art in their home, as well as some raw nature. I mean, you combine the two together, and I feel like it fits in any home with any decor whatsoever. Okay, so tell us how you start. Now, you, you can, do you use specific wood, obviously? Um, I do. Well, actually, most of the lamp material is uh, juniper, which I own uh, out of Montana, Colorado, really? Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the really unique history behind the juniper is a 12-inch uh, diameter piece of this started growing uh, roughly in the mid-1500s. Huh. So some of these pieces you're looking at are four and 500 years old. So oh there's a unique history behind it as well. That is, that's really neat. And you brought in this piece to kind of show us what it looks like in the beginning, right? Right, yeah, this is actually a raw piece as it looks in the rough. Okay. Um, but I also do use a lot of woods that are in the Tennessee as well. Okay. Uh, actually, all the pieces uh, that the chair are made out of are Tennessee wood as well. Okay, well tell us a little bit about the chair and, and the process that you go through to make something like that. All righty. Um, actually, most of the pieces of the wood I gathered off the Nolichucky River ah. in Green County. So you just have your big red and black plaid shirt on and your axe and you... <laughs> you got it. I do, I do carry a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, good. There you go. Yeah, oh, that's right. We've, we've upgraded, haven't we? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Love technology. <laughs> what kind of hours and, and work goes into something like this chair? You know, if I actually counted my hours, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a labor of love. It absolutely is. And I never work on one piece from the very beginning to end. You know, I might have 20, 30 pieces I'll be working on. And I get a little discouraged with one and might set it back and go in with another piece. Wow. And I saw this lamp here. This is so neat and it would make such a wonderful piece in someone's living room, huh? Oh, and let me tell you, the, the stone that I'm using here also is a travertine mall. And this travertine is actually formed by the hot thermal pools as in Yellowstone National Park. Which obviously I don't get it in the park, I get it outside the yeah, park. Yeah, they frown on that, I suppose. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, and we saw this lamp over here, which truly is just amazing. I, I can't imagine. And, and how do you how do you do this with all the wood and get all that that rich color and texture? Well, it starts out with uh, it, it's actually about a 35 step process. First step, sandblasting. Then I use angle grinders, random orbitals, pneumatic flappers. Uh, and then we actually hand steel wool in between each coat of finish, which the finish is a tungol polyurethane finish. Wow. So you're looking at a piece, it's, it's kind of like your uh, grandmother's heirloom buffet china cabinet. It's going to be that way forever. So do you do this out of your, your studio then here mm -hmm. in this area where you work? Yeah, I do have a studio. Uh, it is a working studio in Tennessee, actually okay. in Greene County. Okay. Um, and I, I do accept people coming in by appointment. Uh, they do sell my stuff at Grove Park Inn over in Asheville, and I do have some other wholesalers around the area. Uh, but mostly you find me at art shows, as you did. At the Blue Plum Festival. I love things like that because you never know who these... It's like you live in Greenville and you do this right here in our area. That's amazing. And you can find me as well as on uh, wildwoodoriginals.com. Wildwoodoriginals.com. All of your stuff, all of your information. There. We'll have more of that, too, on our website at daytimetricities.com. And Cliff... Okay. <laughs> I'm like... Does that, would, did we just see us sing a Morgan? And then there he is sitting in the chair. Hey. Right from the Dairy Queen. I'm a little tired from getting over here. Yeah. How, how was it? Well, this one's yours. Oh, did you really get me the chocolate this covered the cherry? You did air. make and it. This one's for you. Oh, well, thank you, Did sir. You oh, wonderful. Huh? Oh, you know, don't you love being on daytime? <laughs> Short <No>. ribs. <laughs> you get blizzards delivered from you. Ooh, let's Gosh, try this. Gosh, this is Notice. wonderful. I'll have mm. to get my short ribs after the show. Morgan, this is really good. Isn't that good? I've got a second career. I think we both do. He wants us back during rush hour. Really? Really? Did you tell him we'd help him out? Oh, yeah. Okay. What do you think of the, the woodworking? Hey, I love amazing? this chair. This would be a great office chair. I know. Absolutely. Could you just leave it? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, kind of like, kind of like a massage chair as well. If you it kind of lean from one side <laughs> to the other. 
Oh, yeah, oh, baby. Oh, yeah. When you've got an itch, Morgan, how great is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, a little yeah. itching. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, Cliff, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you very I much for having me. This stuff is beautiful. For more information, that website again? Wildwoodoriginals.com. Wildwoodoriginals.com. Are you yes. walking away because you're afraid I'm going to eat your Well, that's your job. I'm going to go here and one sit is, One is my mat. You're going to go sit there. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, coming up next, Morgan, are you ready? I'm ready. You're going to donate blood now. I'm ready. It's just a full pack show. You never know what you're going to get on daytime. <laughs>